What's up people? Atomic Tofu here. Today doing a review of TransArts BWM Metal T-Rex. That's their version of Transmetal Megatron. Got this figure from Show Z Store. So I, before I did this, started this video just now, I did a once over of the box. I think my box is assembled either backwards or upside down. Everything's uh, upside down here. And that's this on purpose. Maybe it is so. Maybe it's designed to be flipped like this. Yeah, now I think that's what it is. Designed to be like that. Okay. Let's crack open this box. Be right back. You're out of the box. I guess you don't get a manual. You have to do a QR code. The English instructions. It's kind of a bummer. I'm gonna go go online to do that stuff. Uh, some kind of uh, lava esque sploosh. Yep. Maybe a larger tail section. Small tail. A bit of the uh, record. Broken record. Two additional faces. The laughing, grimace, default stern. It also comes with um, yeah, card, text pick card, and gloves. It's kind of funny. So I'm not sure if I'll need the gloves. Hopefully not. But um, I guess I'll be doing some research. And getting back to you guys at some point. So, yep. Yeah, uh, let's see if I can do articulation tests first. Head. Swivel up, down. All the way around, maybe. A little bit of resistance when going all the way. Let's see. Show the pads go up. Match it. Shoulders, pelvic, not pelvic, pectoral, joint, upper bicep swivel, elbow, 120 or so, one and three for the hands. I think uh, what transformation ad crunch ratcheted weight 360 uh, maybe yeah pseudo 360 because of the back stoppage soft ratchet uh, hips so all the way front and back. Side, out of the way. Lower thighs for me. 90 degree for the knee. Toe tilt. Alright, so I'll do some research. I'm not sure if that uh, QR code is for a video or for a PDF. So get back to you in time. Let's get down to transformation. All right, what we want to do is start with prepping the arms. Let's give them a uh, bicep curl. Fold the hands up. Bicep curl position. Go to the back side. Unclip the backpack. nothing breaks when I'm doing this. Open up the side panels. Get those side panels out of the way. They actually are pseudo clipped in, so I think you can see that.
Let me do the head. Dino head. Beast mode head. Extend the uh, shroud, I guess you can call this. Bring the back panel up. Now we can start tucking in the arms. Panels back up. Let's open them up first. Showing this bottom part. So you can see there are like a one, two, three angles to work. Uh, I'm not sure which one is a, the perfect angle for this, whether or not these panels need to be angled up, out, as flat as possible. I'm not sure yet because once you close off the uh, leg panels, these just tend to get pushed out apart again. So I'm gonna clean this up as best I can and then. Fast forward a little bit. Okay, now we can close off the side shoulder panels. And these parts will peg into here, and they also have a backside peg. Now I don't like, uh, I'll tell you right now, I don't like how these pegs are straight and thin. Likely they'll snap off one day. I have to put some shock oil on those to get them to tab flush. But I'm pretty sure this will snap off. There's a few points on this that I'll t show you later too that I don't like. So those tabs, those pegs back there. Let's go ahead and rotate. I wish there was two points of tabbing for this peck area. Let's see, is that squared off? Let's go ahead and take this bone. Transformation is fairly straightforward, just a little bit complex for, I guess not complex, but getting that right angle for these uh, arms here so that this sits as flush as possible. Back okay. side, be propped up like this. Open up the two back ends. Okay. And this clips here, right there.
I wish there was a better peg system for the chest. The pegs. Then basically, you just bring out the uh, large tail. I'm going to show you this uh, now, too. So, I don't suggest using the large tail as storage. Uh, you can store, I guess, the uh, finger cannons uh, in here, right? Those will be fine and one peg on this side that one's fine i put one head in one face in store the head facing there and then the other side try to store it but it'll be for me impossible it was impossible for me to take out snap that peg um i was hoping or wish that this inside bit here this little column made out of metal that would have been better so anyways that snapped off and that pig is now firmly in head face three's panel all right so those pegs also suck anyways we get this clipped onto the back end here okay. tab into the tail it's a good thing though that this you don't have to force it for the tail so that's good at least the transformation nothing has to be really forced okay, as long as well. it's on a mushroom peg so not an issue get this back on and then you can open up these leg panels if you want open up the panel so that you can give them more posability turbine panels inner panels right? open up the legs and then just leave them kind of free floating out of the panels okay. so all in all a pretty uh, simple transformation not overly complex but pretty good uh, quality fairly well, good quality this. You should have made some kind of uh, finger indents for you to open up. If not, you can use fingernails. I would not suggest a metal tool to get in there. Yep. Here's the legs. Let me fix this camera a bit. And then we can uh, give him his uh, skate feet. Bring up the toes. Now, they did add this one touch in with the split. Uh, I don't know if that was needed. If that's for show accuracy. I don't know if that's you know, what that is. Someone can tell me. Very nice figure so far. Uh, nothing's chipped on mine. Still flawless chrome for the head skull. Show you this nice detail for the teeth and tongues. And the sploosh ended up being, of course, the magnetizer. Now, if you want to protect this head, what I think is happening for some chips and abrasions is that people are actually tapping on the paint uh, so if you want use your finger as a cushion and just tap the middle of the horns above the eyes and so use your finger as a guide turns on blinks turns off so that's great right Oops, forgot one point for the transformation. Kind of messed up on. So, I'll do it right now. Put the tail off. Show this. 
and then back into bot mode. So I messed up on the cleaning this portion up. So I messed up on the back. The back should have clipped over the neck. Right here. Let's see if I can untap this without snapping. Uh, there you go. So have the neck shroud fully have right, the neck shroud fully pushed back and then the two back panels will go over. Right, and then tab it. There you go. Right, so make sure you do that. I messed up on that. So let's go over a quick uh, dyno uh, articulation before I get this back into uh, bot mode. Shoulders for the T-Rex arms are on a 360 peg. And then the outward inward rotation as well. Fingers are all on uh, ball joints. It's not too, too yappy when you have it done well enough, I guess. Nick articulation, pivot, about a 30 degree pivot or so for that, also extra pivot for the metallic portion of the head, open, close, tongue, same articulation for the uh, knee in bot mode, very articulated tail, opens up, Of course, the uh, turbines spin. Very nice. Okay, let's get this back into bot mode. Tail off. This also separates just in case you need to get up the tail a little bit easier. Open up the uh, eye panels, dino thigh panels. Get these up and out of the way. Stand them up. Rotate these to the side of this. Rotate the upper body. Do the uh, back shoulder panels. Let's go ahead and get these T Rex arms folded up out of the way. Turn the sides. Bring these chest panels back down, out of the way. Take the arms out. And the head close up the mouth. Compress the uh, neck shroud. in the head. Okay. So, as you can see just now, My little back shroud uh, snapped off right now, so that's not good. So yeah, a, I, I hope that some of these parts were done a little bit better, but so that's snapped off. I'll leave that there for now. Okay. So yeah, 
I'll be getting some replacement parts from Shozu. So, okay, let's go ahead and tab in again these uh, side bits. Let's my These will tab into the front. From the bottom, they'll look like this. tab the back. Okay. And he's basically uh, done. And, uh, right. Put these back down. Position the uh, T-Rex arms how you would. It's a nice figure with some flaws that I don't like. Still has a little bit of the trans art. Uh, for Fragility. Uh, I've experienced already where they're a strange friend that they have. So, but you know, thanks again from Shoe's E Store. Getting me this figure. Uh, hopefully, there's going to be a version two of this guy with some improvements. Uh, if not, you'll just be aware of what I just showed you. Some uh, previous transformation peg snaps, and then of course on camera black plastic back neck shroud, head shroud uh, snap, so that wasn't good. Um, likely this guy will experience uh, three, four, five more transformations before the these pegs also snap off. Um, yeah, but all in all, a, an enjoyable figure. Uh, I did like him. Show you the small tail spring loaded. Let's go into the sides there. See either either side of the arms have that. So this down. Here we go. On. And then open these pincers up. One way to go in, this is the grooves. Pop it in there. I don't think it really holds. Let's see if it holds. 3D effect. Holds well, okay, I guess. Yeah, he holds okay. And then, uh, let's do that. You heard, uh, fingers, his dino fingers. My arm. It's projected, I guess that's what it is. Oh, yeah, I wanted to mention, uh, the uh, scan code, QR code, they went to uh, Mang Motion's video, and uh, you know, that video has uh, some good music. I like the music on that video. I was grooving out to that stuff. I'm not sure if they're like uh, cover versions or um, pseudo cover versions of songs, but uh, yeah, I was grooving when I was watching it. All right, this next bit is uh, 
behind the scenes, I guess, sort of. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you the other head. Yeah. Look away now if you're squeamish, but you see this? Uh, so, the you know, head number three, you see how they, they had the hole in there? So I thought, well, if I can get something small enough to get in there, I can punch out that broken pig off of phase three's uh, hole, right? I got it out, right? I use this. Right, and then I'll pushing it against the table, and uh, yep, that pin went in there. <laughs> I get a lot of damage from these TF toys and transformations, so hopefully, yeah, I got the peg out. Uh, it's painful, that thing went all the way in there. <laughs> uh, later, hopefully, you guys will uh, give me a few subscribes, likes for that blood. Okay. <laughs>